Hello. So a couple weeks ago, we made this video. And then we figured in addition to this PM courses, you might also benefit with some web development courses that we did when we were students and they helped us a lot to find a good web development job. So here are our top five web dev courses that we would love to share with you. But before we get into it, subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, do give us a thumbs up. While it just takes you a second to do this, it also really, really helps us with the YouTube algorithm to reach a wider audience. So let's dive right into it. But before, a disclaimer. I spent thousands of dollars on my education in universities. And after completing all those courses, programs, and everything, the projects, assignments, everything, basically my course curriculum, I didn't feel confident enough to apply for jobs. I didn't feel that I've gained enough skills that would help me produce something useful. So when I did these courses, for the first time, I really felt very hands-on. So I was able to build web applications and I was also able to build like desktop applications. And I could understand what people are talking about in the market. And when I went ahead and tried to apply for jobs, I could actually see that, okay, these are the skills that these jobs require. And I share a great subset of skills that I already possess. So I felt confident to apply for those jobs. Now, having said what I've just said, I want to make it very clear that this is not a promotion for these courses. I am not getting anything out of it. I'm not getting paid. I am just sincerely trying to help you by sharing my experience experience and my research with you so that you save time. And also if you're in some sort of analysis paralysis situation, I just want to help you get out of it and take some action. All right. So the first one is the complete web developer in 2022 zero to mastery course by Andrew Nogoi. So the good thing about this course is you can, as you can see here, when I purchased this course, it was 2018, right? So this course, the title back then was the complete web developer in 2018, <laughs> zero to mastery. So that's the good thing, right? So this person, the creator, the instructor, Andre Nikoi, just doesn't create a course and then just leave it and never come back to it and never update it, right? So he updates his courses based on the year you are taking the course in, right? So now if there are certain updates for certain frameworks or like if there are new technologies or new ways of doing things. So now this instructor will come back to the course and make sure that it is updated to the most recent standard. All right, so now a good thing to look at is the ratings of the course, which is 4.7, which is a pretty good rating. It was rated by around 57K students and almost like 193 or you can say almost 200,000 students are already enrolled in the course. So if you go and search for this course on Udemy with this title, you'll see all the necessary information about the course. So like you get a certification upon completion. It has 36.5 hours of on-demand videos and other downloadable resources as well available. But now what I want to tell you is, since I've done this course myself, I would love to share my experience of the course with you so that it acts as a testimony, right? So now, first of all, who this course is for? If you are an absolute beginner in web development and you have no idea on how things work, so this is a great, a great course for you, right? That's how I started with it. So it's, as the name suggests, it's a zero to mastery. So this course starts from the very basic. As you can see, it gives you an introduction on how internet works, the history of web, and then it starts with very simple, basic HTML, covers some advanced HTML, then we dive into the styling using CSS, and then you use some CSS frameworks and layouts. And then it also covers JavaScript, DOM manipulation, advanced JavaScript concepts. And again, you can see that it covers some version control systems as well. So Git, GitHub, and how you can contribute to open source projects. And next, it covers uh, certain frameworks as well. So for example, it covers the React framework. And, and if I go down, it covers, so in addition to front end, it also covers the back end, right? So in the back end, it covers the Node and Express framework. And it covers databases as well and how your backend server connects to the database, how to use different kinds of databases with your application. And the best thing is that it covers the production and deployment concepts as well. So that completes the loop. So now you can build a website from scratch 
and then also bring it from your personal computer or laptop to on the internet so that it is visible to other people as well. Isn't that great? And as I said, that this course is great for you if you are a complete beginner and you have no coding experience. So you can check this out in the requirements as well. So by now, I'm pretty sure that you might have guessed that my experience with this course was like pretty amazing because I did this course back in 2018 and uh, it was like the first or the, I think the second year of my master's program. And I was kind of feeling really lost, right? So I was reading and I was studying computer science, but I really didn't know how to apply that information and that knowledge that I'm gathering from my course curriculum into the real world. And how do I actually produce something out of that information that I have? So when I did this course, I feel really empowered and well equipped with some of the skills that will come in handy when I work on my website or that helped me to find a job in web development. And now for the first time, I was finally able to translate my knowledge in the domain of computer science, so precisely web development, into something, well, into a product that I created. So that was a great feeling. Okay, now for the pricing of this course. But first, let me tell you something very general about Udemy if you have never used it before. So when you go to Udemy for the first time, you might see some very expensive and bizarre pricing, right? So like, for example, I'm in Canada here. So you can see that I opened Udemy on an incognito window and I was just trying to search for this course. Okay, so I see that it was actually uh, $199, almost like 200 Canadian dollars, but they also have like some great offers for like new students. So when you sign up or log in, if you already have an account, you will see some slash down prices. Well, for the courses that I'll be covering in this video, when we did it, when we bought it, it was for the price of a lunch. So basically they will be between 10 to $30. So for example, you can see that if you're a new student, this course that we were talking about is $28 in Canada. But depending on your country, it could be a different price. It doesn't necessarily have to translate from CAD to like the currency that you use in your country. So a good thing to know is, so let's say here when I signed into my account, okay? So now this course, you can buy it for $23.99. So like $24, which is again, a reduced price from the price that we saw before when I didn't log into my account. So another good thing to know is uh, that Udemy almost always have exclusive offers as you can see here. So now now they have this exclusive deal for me uh, for a limited period of time and also if you have your eyes set on a specific course and it's too expensive wait for black friday and cyber monday deals and also let me tell you a hack that i used to use almost all the time when i was a student and actually i still do use it so if you share some common interest with some of your friends or your cousins or any acquaintance that you know a good thing would be to find a study buddy right so what you can do is you buy the course from one account and let the other person finish the course. And then you split the price and you can do the same course for half of the price. So I and Pranav used to do this all the time. But a caveat of this is that you're going to just get one certificate of completion. So let's say your friend bought the course and you're splitting the price. So the certificate of completion will be in your friend's name, right? So you're not gonna receive it. But if you don't care about a certificate and you're just concentrating on accumulating more skills, in the field of web development or basically in any other field. So this could be a great hack to, you know, like do the same course for half of the price. And anyways, you can always substitute a certificate by doing a lot of hobby projects, right? Once you learn the necessary skills. Okay, so moving on to the next one, it's Angular the Complete Guide 2022 edition. As you can see, I did this course back in July, 2018. So same story, back then it was called the 2018 edition. So this is again a great thing about this uh, new instructor instructor, Max Malian uh, Schwarzmuller, and maybe I'm just butchering his last name, so sorry about that. But a good thing about him is that he also keeps on updating his course based on the current year that you're buying the course in. Okay, so now who this course is for, right? So from the previous course, you might have gotten a good understanding on how the web works, the basics of web development, and you also 
touch some front-end frameworks, some back-end frameworks, and also like deployment concepts. Now, you can also decide if you don't want to be a full-stack web developer, you can choose like more of a specialization in web development. So you just if you just want to focus on front-end development. So this is a good course on Angular that will help you build Angular websites. So anything from a basic website to like a more advanced one. Okay, so talking about the prerequisites of this course, well, as it says here, you do not require any knowledge on Angular JS or, you know, Angular 2 plus versions, because this course focuses on Angulars like from the very basics. So that's a good thing. But a basic knowledge of HTML and CSS would help you. But again, it's not a must have. But what I would suggest you is that take the previous course that we discussed, this one, as a stepping stone or as the first step before going into more specialized course, such as the second one, right? The Angular one we're discussing here. Because anyways, you will require the basic JavaScript knowledge to dive deeper into, you know, more uh, core Angular concepts. And I think I missed uh, the rating about the course. So it's a 4.7, again, a good rating, a pretty good rating. And almost 600,000, uh, so like almost 620,000 students are enrolled into the course, which is like pretty huge. And now for the pricing, uh, the same story applies, right? The one that I told you before, how Udemy pricing works. So right now you can see that this course, you can buy it for like $20. Well, how can I suggest an Angular course for front-end specialization and leave React behind? Well, I don't want to piss off my React audience. All right, so the third course is complete React developer in 2022 with Redux hooks and GraphQL. So as you can see, I bought the course in 2019. So now this course is by the first instructor we talked about, Andre Nagoi. And as you can see, this course is also updated for 2022. The rating is uh, 4.7, again, a good rating. Although we just have like 113,000 uh, students enrolled and the rating was by 22k students but as i always say it always depends on your use case right the kind of application that you're building so it will help you better to decide which front end framework you should go with for your specific use case at hand if you have a good knowledge about angular and react or i mean any other front end framework that you've been working with or you're excited to learn so talking about who this course is for i'll say the exact same thing what i said for the angular course once you have your basics clear for web development if you want to go into more specialization roles uh, you can choose if you want to be a front end web developer or a back-end web developer, or even if you want to be a full-stack web developer, it's good to learn these frameworks in the front end. And also we'll talk about the back-end frameworks next. So again, take the first course as a stepping stone or, you know, like a prerequisite for this course, because you will still require some basic JavaScript knowledge to understand the React concepts better. So here the instructor also does highlight that you will require some basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript knowledge before you try to dive in directly to the React framework. Well, for the pricing, you can find this course for $20 in Canada right now. Now, we talked about some front-end frameworks, right? If you want to specialize in front-end, the next course that I want to talk about is in the back-end. So it's a back-end framework, Node.js. It's called the Complete Guide, MVC, REST APIs, GraphQLs, and Deno.js. So I did this course in 2019 just to make sure that I have a good understanding of backend frameworks as well, because my goal was always to become a full stack web developer. So this course is by Maximilian Schurz Mueller. So the same instructor I did the Angular course with. I really like the instructor, so I went ahead and checked out his backend courses. So I found this uh, Node.js course. It had a pretty good rating of 4.7, around 180k students enroll into the course. So who this course is for? Well, again, I would recommend you having some basic JavaScript knowledge uh, before starting this course. But if you are an absolute beginner, uh, the good thing about this course is like, if you see in the introductory modules, there's a, there's an optional section where this uh, instructor goes through the JavaScript, the basic JavaScript concepts as well as a quick refresher. So, I mean, you don't necessarily need this JavaScript knowledge. You can pick on, on these JavaScript concepts as you go along with this course. But I mean, from my experience, Experience, it really helped me. So from the course module, as you can see, this course is a deep dive in Node.js and the backend concept. So you also, this instructor also covers the MVC, the model view controller, which is a great 
which is one of the most important patterns that we use in the back end. And then it also talks about databases and how you can work with SQL as well as no SQL databases. So this is how I learned MongoDB as well. And also some ORMs that you can use uh, when you're working with databases. So for example, SQL is for SQL and Mongoose for MongoDB. And if you don't know what ORMs are, we have videos on both SQL and no SQL ORMs. So you can check that out. The link will be down in the description below. And it also covers some core backend concepts, for example, how to manage sessions and cookies and authentication concepts, and then user input validation, pagination. So this course also talks about REST API as well as GraphQL APIs. These are the two most important APIs used in the backend. So now for the pricing, this course is available for $24 right now. All right, so the last course I want to discuss is the Complete Junior to Senior Web Developer Roadmap 2022. And as you can see that I did the course in 2019, but knowing what I know right now, it was a bit too early for me to start this course. So I did start the course, but never really completed it. So I feel that I can really tell you who this course is for, and it's not for beginners for sure. Looking at the rating of the course, it's a 4.6 rating and it has 66K students enrolled in it. And this course is by Andre Nagoy. So as you can see from my previous courses and this course as well, I was really stuck on these two instructors at the time. So as you can see from the course contents, this course really entails some core concepts that you might never care about if you're just a student or if you're a beginner in web development. But these concepts are really important and they come in really handy when you start working for a company. So for example, SSH and you have like a whole module on testing and then on server-side rendering, code analysis, containerization using Docker, it is, which is an important caching tool. Then you have a whole dedicated module on AWS, CI, CD. So this is really a more advanced course in web development that you should only do or go for once you have the basics in place. And my basics are really mean, like you see in the requirements here, that you will need the basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but also like take the complete web developer in 2022, the zero to mastery course. So the first one that we discussed before you go and decide that, okay, now it's time for you to become a senior. Okay, so going back to why I said it was a bit too early for me to do start this course in 2019 is because I mean I just started, I mean, I just started working and I was not very comfortable with these concepts because I could not relate to it. So I just started in my career as a full stack web developer. I was just writing code and you know making my website more beautiful and a bit more optimized. So I couldn't relate much to what's happening outside of my project and outside of my piece of code. But as I gained more experience and as I started working with the different DevOps team, the QA team, and the other teams, I realized how important it is to know these concepts, right? And I could actually see all of these tools and techniques in action. So I could relate more to it. So speaking from experience, this course is for you once you are a professional junior web developer and you have some work experience, and then you decide, okay, so now I want to stick to web development, but I want to climb the corporate ladder, and I want to start transitioning from a junior web developer to a more senior role. And if you have no idea on what the trajectory of a web developer looks like, you can check out our videos on front-end and back-end web development roadmaps. And I feel that will be very helpful for you. And then you will be able to better decide for yourself based on the roadmap you want to follow, which course will be the right fit for you. Okay, so for the pricing of this course, as you can see, you won't be able to find this course on Udemy anymore because this is a private course now, well, at least in Canada. So based on the country you reside in, you might be able to find this course either on Udemy or on this instructor's website directly. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something useful. If yes, let us know down in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.